the Basilica of St. Mary Major, also known as Santa Maria Maggiore, and the Liberian Basilica, is located on the Esquiline Hill. It is one of the oldest churches dedicated to Our Lady and the only of the major basilicas of Rome to maintain its original structure. According to tradition, on August 5th, Our Lady appeared to Pope Liberius in a dream, asking him to build a church in her honor in the place which she would indicate. The following day, snow fell upon the exact spot of the Esquiline Hill where the present basilica now stands. This miracle of snow is commemorated by the advocation Our Lady of the Snows. The basilica was built shortly after the Council of Ephesus, which confirmed the title of Our Lady, Mother of God, as the belief of the Universal Church. The basilica is a central witness to the primacy of the Marian principle within the Church. The bell tower of the basilica rises over 200 feet, the tallest in Rome. The church is built of a single nave with a single row of columns on either side. Original mosaics from the 12th century surround the upper level of the nave, depicting scriptural scenes pertinent to salvation history. The basilica contains the relics of the crib of our Lord. The four boards of sycamore wood rest in a crystal reliquary located beneath the high altar and have been kept within this church since the 600s. To the left of the high altar is the Borghese Chapel, which contains the icon of Our Lady, Salus Populi Romani, the health of the Roman people, which is among the most visited Marian images in all of Rome. Tradition holds that it was painted by St. Luke on a table from the home of the Holy Family in Nazareth. As Pope Francis explained in this basilica on May 4, 2013, Mary is mother, and a mother concerns herself above all with the health of her children. She knows how to care for the children. She knows how to care for them with great and tender love. Our Lady protects our health. She helps us to grow, face life, and to be free. In this church, we contemplate the maternity of Our Lady, who is truly the Mother of God, but also truly the Mother of the Church, a title which was officially declared by Pope Paul VI on November 21, 1964, at the Second Vatican Council. Mother Adela explains what this maternity means for each of us. The maternity of Holy Mary is a gift, an immense gift that Christ has given to each one of his disciples and to the whole church, like one of the pearls that flowed from his agonizing heart on the cross. This maternity, that is a gift, is manifested in many forms in the life of the church. Above all, it is manifested through the constant maternal mediation, care, protection, maternal education and formation, intercession, and battle that our mother engages in for the life of the church. She is a mother that enters into dialogue with the hearts of her children to give us her love and to form us into images of her son. May we grow in our relationship with Our Lady Mother of God, Mother of the Church, and Mother of each person, as we recite together the Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother, to you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. <laughs>